So hey guys, we're out here at Dirt King in San Diego. We're with Mike V and his freshly built, amazing, beautiful Chevy. freaking rad you guys are gonna love this thing it's definitely the first of its kind that we filmed with this type of rear suspension that I'm not very familiar with ultra four link and Nick Gardner's here we're gonna try to get him to come over here and Greg from Dirt King too so hopefully they'll give us some details on that good stuff tell us about this kit but um, we're here with Mike V what's up Mike what's going on? dude thank you for uh, letting us film this beautiful thing um, how do you feel about it man Super pumped. It's been about a year that I've been waiting on seeing the truck and finally get to see it today and I'm super stoked about it. So dude, so let, let's hop into the front of this thing. So you had the mid-travel kit, now you have the race kit. Correct. Right? So okay. The race kit, the way it's changed up is actually the uh, um, coilover and bypass okay. uh, are relocated, the shock tower is relocated, and so is the upper control arm. Okay. And you have an option to bump off the upper control arm or the lower control arm, which okay. I went off the lower control arm just because um, financially for these newer trucks, you have to relocate everything to the rear and get everything out of the way for oh, clearance right, okay. for putting a, a bump stop on the top for these newer so trucks. You'd have to do some like gnarly type of cage to, to, yeah, to make that you, work. I mean, it has an engine cage, but... Mm. But like you crazy to, off that. to get you off. You have to move a bunch of stuff. All the what? All the electronics and the battery, like basically everything has to get relocated out of the way due to the added up travel. Right. Uh, this truck also has an electronic rack, so he'd have to do a hydraulic rack conversion, a uh, power steering pump. It just All I'm seeing is dollar signs. It, as you're that, talking. That's ding, exactly ding. what it equates yeah. to. It, it's just a snowball effect, so in order to save him 15 grand, we just kept off the load. Right on, very good. And it, you, you guys hear that? That that can work. And it, I mean, it works the same, right, dude? Yeah, yeah. Exactly, perfect. And it, it has uh, Dirt King's uh, inner fender, which kind of relocates everything three inches higher, so it gives you three inches of more of travel clearance. Dude, I love how clean so this it, looks, man. It looks man. great. Gosh. And it holds everything stock that's originally there, but it just moves it up higher and gives it a better placement and better up -travel. Yeah, excellent, man. That's um, awesome. Up front, we have the, it's a, Two five by ten coilover and a two or I'm sorry a three zero by ten bypass and nice a two point zero uh, bump stop. Okay, and there it is right there. Two point zero right there. Hey, how much travel did these things have? Right now the front is strapped at eighteen. Okay, and then um, I think I mean that's yeah great. The, the, that's right where I, that's that's yeah. that's a lot of travel man. Yeah, sure. You can make her dance I'm sure real good like that. Yeah, heck yeah man very cool. Um, it just looks, it looks so, again, I know it's fresh right now, but uh, the, the, the truck that I've seen before, it always looks great, man. Yeah. You know, I think you 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 take care of these things really well. Yeah. You know, right. heck yeah. I know, I'm sorry, I also forgot to No, please tell me. Dirt King's um, tie rods that they fabricate as well. So that's okay. not the aftermarket tie rod that's in there. Okay. The spindles, obviously, and everything that's all Dirt King. Nice, dude. Heck yeah. Then you got the Finrezzi's, uh, um, not the yeah, the rest series, just yeah. Like, uh, no, that's cool. Finished, yeah, OE fin. No, it looks great, man. Heck yeah. Um, very aggressive truck. How, how much wider does this go over with the race kit? Four and a quarter percent. Four and a quarter? Yeah. Okay. Right on. Uh, I think I think we got to pop the hood, Mike. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, let's do it, man. What's next, dude? Tell us tell us about this thing. So what do you got going on in here? We have the engine cage that connects to the cab cage. Um, obviously, like I was telling you earlier, the yeah. uh, inner fenders, they relocate everything up higher, but you still get the clearance inside the hood. Oh, okay. Which is really nice, so you don't like lose what is there that's stocked if you want to keep it. Obviously, like this is kind of more of like a stock intake. Yeah. So you don't lose that ability if you want to keep that. Yeah. Um, I mean, if uh, it's stock, it's meant to go forever, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why, if it, if it works, why, why replace this it? Was, this was like my doing. I was up late at night drawing sketches and sending it over to the guys at Dirt King, kind of tell them how I wanted to do a uh, nice. engine cross member, and then they kind of made that like sketch come to reality and made it make this happen. So it was really cool to see that come together. Nice. So it so that's custom. It's not available, right? Um, I, as far as I know, yeah. As far right. as I know, it's it is custom. I don't know if they're making that for production, but yeah. Um, but they have a bunch of options, I'm sure, for correct. cross members. Yeah. Very cool. Heck yeah. yeah. 
Um, so I see, yeah, there it is. It ties right into the roll cage, guys. As you guys can see, it goes up that way. Very cool. And then what, what motor's in this thing? This is a uh, 5.3. It hasn't really had anything much done to it. It's just yeah. the uh, speed engineering long tubes. Okay. It goes down into an X pipe that dumps at the back of the cab. Nice. And then um, the motor hasn't really been gone into too much. It had uh, Joe the tuner. Okay. Did uh, tuning on it after he calibrated everything. Did like a little uh, trans tune and okay. went through the shift points and stuff with the motor as well, but nothing too crazy. Right, uh, dude. No, that's cool. And you know what? Guys, the, the 5.3 is an amazing platform to build on, and it's extremely reliable. Uh, with the hood off, you can kind of see down, and uh, we kind of went with the idea of like mounting the lights behind the grill just to kind right. of give it a different look. And yeah, super sleeper like that. Yeah, definitely, and, and uh, it still will put out a ton of light. These Baja designs just kill it. Heck yeah. So, Where's there? Brennan? Did Brennan leave? What? Hey, there's Brennan. There's Brennan in Bali. So in a lot of episodes, I always go, what's up, Brennan? And he's actually here this time. There he is. What's up, Brennan? Here, I'm going to do it. Brennan from Baja Designs. There he is, folks. There he is. So so he, you know, obviously, obviously Baja Designs, you know, I mean, you know, that's who I rock with. You know, I, I am a Baja Designs guy. I love Baja Designs, and they're amazing. And I think that's a great choice, my friend. See, very far, and these things are pretty badass, very strong. So, hell yeah. Killed it, dude. And so I, I love how it's flush like this, dude. It, it's very, you know, low key. Yeah. And I, again, the val this valance, it's beautiful. Yeah, so I know a lot of guys do ABS and uh -huh. they're trying to do it, but they could not get a pe long enough piece cut to okay. across the whole front. Because I know most of the time it usually ends right here. I just thought it looked clean, kind of going up to the glass. Yeah, dude. No, there you have a vision that. for it, man. So, and it looks like these guys are making it happen here. Yeah, I make them earn their money on overtime because I send them drawings late at night and I'm like this is what I want to do and then they're like all right we'll try to figure it out dude I love it Mike so involved man <laughs> I'm, I'm I'm not that guy I'm not like Mike I'm like I don't know figure it out you know what I mean <laughs> I'm, I'm happy Mor Morgan is that guy he's the guy that'll stay up and draw but I'm not I'm just like I want to drive but Mike that's really cool man I, I think I think I hope they did a great job in facilitating your, your dream man I mean yeah. you know we got all these amazing Baja designs right here we got the amber lights hey Brennan tell us about these lights Perfect. I don't even know what we got here. What do we got? You know where this we is. Got? We're just quizzing you. XL80s All right. And, uh, so we got uh, we got an S8. We got some XL80s. We got some Racer Edition. So the cool thing is, is that uh, XL80s give you a, a bunch of light. Get them spread it out everywhere. And these Racer Editions in the middle are going to get it way further down the down the road. And then we have an S8, which uh, will kind of fill in the the near field and midfield. Okay. And it'll be really really good setup. Nice, dude. He's hey. got the whole pattern. You can see he's got the wide cornering, driving combo, and the spot. Oof. And that's, uh, Look that's at, a full deal right there. There it is, dude. How great. You know, Brennan from Baja Design, folks. Yay, give it up for Brennan, everybody. Yay. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Dude, how convenient was that? That was great. I, I, I think we got to film more episodes like that with, like, the dudes, you know what I mean? And then, and then it's cool because Greg's here from Dirt King, so if we get stuck on anything, we're like, Greg, help us out. <laughs> right, Greg? Sir. All right, cool. Awesome, man. Um, well, excellent, dude. Very flush, very clean. Anything else you want to highlight up here? No, I mean, I think, like, all the attention is done on the, like, the detail, the the uh, craftsmanship, like, everything for their kits has always been sound. Like, I had no issues with the mid-travel kit. Yeah. Performed great now with the race kit. This thing has been phenomenal. I love it. I'm so stoked for you, man. This thing is beautiful. Beautiful, dude. Excellent. What uh, what are we running here, man? Oh, okay. So it's the 37-inch uh, Toyos. Okay. Um, and we have the 17-inch Raceline. Very cool, man. Lux. These are awesome. Well, I saw them when they came out, and I was like, man, I gotta have those. They look super cool and amazing. Kind of go with like an old school look, where yeah, you just keep them kind of all raw like this and run them like that. I like that, dude. I, uh, some people are starting to do that more of like the raw kind of wheel. So tell us about the rear of this thing. So hey, Greg. You want to help us with the rear of this thing? Can I just say how great this is? Like no straps back here, just like. Yeah, we did the uh, full hub package on the back, so they're just bolted down with lug nuts, just like. Yeah. Truck. This is on uh, two 250 pound <clears throat> gas struts set up on there. So nice. A lot easier lift with the dual spares on it. Uh, we did the Baja Designs dome lights. It's on its own little switch. When the clunk, when the trunk closes, it just shuts itself off like a normal car trunk. Dude, that's so cool. <laughs> that's awesome. uh, we did a little quick release jack handle on here for the jack. Uh, he's got a 
custom little shovel we picked up from Car Tech to uh, in case he gets stuck. As yeah, that does happen. <laughs> right, right. It's just for looks, though, right, Mike? It's it's, it's, it's just for looks, man. You inspired man. me with your build. I saw the shovel that Morgan. Yeah. Did. I was like. Oh, dude, dude. Yeah, Morgan. Morgan did the the bro. What is it? the bro science? He calls it. He's like, I have two. I don't even know what. Morgan, I don't even know what you're talking about. Tell us what you're talking about with the bro science. We get a lot of three in the morning text messages from Mike saying, "I just saw this on a Terra video." Oh shoot! All right, all right. Hey, let, let, let's get that in there. I like it, Mike. Hey, uh, I, I, a shovel's necessary for sure. We did some uh, recessed boxes, kind of inverted in. So this is actually for the uh, sway bars to go to full bump and clearance the trunk. Beautiful. Uh, so it's all paneled in for that accordingly. Everything's functional and kind of looks trick too. Uh, obviously one of his dual spares is back here. We did add a right. secondary later after we did the three CBR fans and all that and the mm -hmm. excess lighting. So uh, Heck we yeah. did a secondary inside the, the uh, truck with the front rear center console he had added. Um, I can't wait to check out the inside of this thing. Yeah, yeah, dude. Pretty dope. Heck all yeah. The bed sides are on these pretty quick release. You know, you can take the bed sides off with these fabricated mounts and pull the whole thing. I love it. In a matter it. of minutes, or you can pull the bed sides only, and these will still hold the the tail lights if you want to run paddles at the dunes. Oh yeah, like dude. <clears throat> That's what's up. Yeah. So, very cool. Very cool. Some cutouts for the spares. And that good stuff. Dude, I, I, you know what? You, you, we said dunes. We got to plan a trip, man. That's it. Garrett, pack your bags. We're going to Idaho. All right, let's go. I'm down. <laughs> Never been. Yeah. So to tell us about this run. Is it is this a new mic? Is this all new too? Yeah, that's fully fabricated, three and a half inch, um, Dirt King housing. It's got nice. A, uh, um, it's got a ten inch third member. Yeah, ten, ten inch third member with uh, Evan Weller Racing. Nice. And then we went to five O gears. Okay. And uh, it's got the forty spline axles. Nice. And big Willwood brakes. Spider tracks, dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't even know you guys made uh, rear ends. Yeah, yeah. We until I was in the shop looking at the. We don't really advertise it, but yeah. we do it for like a lot of our full builds in house. Okay. Um, we we've, we've done a couple, quite a few of the last year. Yeah. But, uh, we kind of only do it on full in house builds. We don't really put them on the website for customers. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, losers. No, just kidding. <laughs> just kidding. Just and, kidding. This, and this is Will that builds. I'm them so all, just yeah. kidding. Yeah, you build those rear ends, dude. Yeah. Heck yeah! All right, there we go. I, I love the convenience of this video. It's like so many hands that are involved with this are like actually here So that's really cool. Like this dude actually built the rear end on this he thing. He built the truck. Oh, he built the truck, huh? <laughs> most For, of most it. Most, of it. most we, of it. There we go. Hell yeah. Dude, that's awesome, man. And you know, again, the little details I think make up for so much on this damn this thing, dude. This is all fully like interior and exterior paneled on the trunk. God, dude, you guys, look, we got the Dirt King logo under the, the gas tank over here. Cradle. Hell yeah, and you guys still retain the, the stock frame back here. Yeah, so that's our like proprietary kind of five link system. So it cycles on the outside of the frame. Okay. Uh, so it's got an upper. Take us through this thing, man. Yeah. This thing is beautiful. It's so, 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 Mike, we've never had uh, yeah. this type of suspension. It's this a rear. five link system, yeah. like, kind of like Greg was saying. It's like you, you can retain the stock, yes. Yeah. Uh, well, we've never okay. had anything like this on the channel before. Yeah, so like the kind of the perks here is like when you do a full triangulated. Uh, four link or like if you cut a truck in half it's full-blown fuel cell cap cage like you cut the frame rails off you got to connect it to something so uh, this cycles on the outside of the frame and then it runs a pan hard bar and uh, the pan hard bar is so long that throughout like it's like 21 inches of travel metal to metal and it's only got an inch and three quarter of swing side to side throughout the whole swing of it insane uh, which is actually less than these springs do Wow, um, the engineering behind it, dude. That's yeah. freaking rad. So like an inch, or oh, inch and a quarter. My bad. Uh, Which is like nothing. Yeah, it's literally nothing. Right. So you know, a lot of guys you don't kind of dog on that, but if you build it right, it's it cycles very proper. You oh, guys hear that? You got you guys hear that? Pan hard bar guys. <laughs> There's hope, man. Up until right. we did the long tube headers, this truck was fully California smog legal. So okay. Until we did the headers, it was you could drive a truck this gnarly on the streets and be fully. California specs. Right on, right on. Yeah. Dang, crazy man. Amazing. Uh that's so clean, dude. Amazing. Just look at this, you guys. Look at all this. Did you wanna did you wanna jack it up or do anything? I mean whatever you guys have time for, I'm down for whatever. We can droop it out if you want to. I think we need to droop this thing out. Let's get it. Let's get go. Forklift! Nick says forklift. Mike, what are we doing? How are you gonna do? How are they gonna drip it out? Oh, it's it's the freaking forklift.
That seems like way more than 21. Call it 30 if you want. Yeah, I mean, we, we can say whatever we want, so we're just making up numbers now. But no, dude, this is great. So tell us about this, man. Uh, man, look at this. It's a, it's a 2 5 coilover 303 tube custom laid out bypass. Um, it's a 30 by 14 because it goes off the upper, and okay. then it's a short stroked 14 inch coilover just because bypass goes right in the rear and obviously droops a little bit lower so right right everything's all custom to our spec just like the front shocks are and then nice. it's got a two by four king of bumps up on there um, nice right here <clears throat> these are our uh billet links um they locate off of the factory leaf spring perches no way so you kind of undo your perch this locates off that factory bolt hole and then Let me we see right. go we, ahead we weld in our uh factory perches right here and then cut all that off locates off the factory frame hole and then uh, we burn in our own pivot pocket for the upper and the lower link. Nice, dude. That's freaking awesome, man. And then it's got a uh, four inch C notch. <clears throat> and then it's got a notch, obviously, for the pan hard Mardi Gras full bump as well. Okay, sick. Custom sway like that, yes. Dang, man. So you guys uh, manufacture sway bars too? Yeah. Yeah, we do all that. We, Dude, again, I never knew that. Yeah. Is that is that also for custom projects or? This is this whole sway bar package goes with our Ultra Four Link. It's not like for a triangulated. You know, Got it. We have other ones. Obviously, we did the All American Center tube chassis as well. Right, right, He's right. He's got a completely different sway bar package. Yeah. Interesting, man. Well, this is definitely a cool way to look at it. What what size uh, fuel cell are we looking at? Oh, that's a thirty-two gallon. Uh, oh, okay. Speed. Oh, that's what I'm running. Yeah. High five. Yeah, and look at all these lines. Everything looks great, dude. Yeah, all the fuel lines are in, and then uh, factory the sending unit from yeah. uh, Izzy Fab. From Izzy Fab, okay. Nice. And then it's got all custom handmade brake lines that route throughout the frame rail. Yeah. Comes down the pan hard with our uh, soft lines, our steel braided lines, and then our hard lines all the way down the rear housing to each caliber. Look at that. Would you look at that? Just look at it. You know, when I see a car like this, first thing I do is I say, would you look at this? You know what I mean? Yeah. Damn, dude, and that, that exhaust set, setup looks pretty bitchin'. Speed engineering setup on there, so that's their uh, long tube header package with their white uh, X pipe and their muscle package. Heck yeah. Well, guys, you guys absolutely crushed the suspension on this thing, man. I mean, everything's just like a so attention to detail. You know, same, I mean, it's the same four link setup that he had this. before. Yeah. We actually developed that, the ultra four link that we call it on this truck. Um, he just switched more fabricated links to our billet links. So, okay. Uh, we just came out with these last year. And, nice. Uh, part of the rebuild, he just wanted to go with the full billet setup and just revamp the truck. Right on. Well, heck yeah, guys. I mean, as you guys see, they don't mess around at Dirt King. Everything's reinforced, plated, gusseted, freaking square, gusseted right here. Everything's just killing it. And uh, these awesome panels. All the uh, plumbing, electrical. Give a shout out to Tanner, Independence Electric. He oh, Tanner did this. All of that, yeah. So nice. All the lighting. Everything, once they were all done with it, they went out to his shop and he took care of everything. Excellent. What's up, Tanner? Good job, man. You do awesome. It even so, smells new in here. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. PRP seats. Okay. Um, that was the center console. This is all done by Garrett, Corrosive Design, that runs all the way from the front to the rear. I had this idea where I wanted to, like, just something different than what Dude, I've seen. That is I see a lot of guys do. Awesome. Uh, where it kind of ends right at the back seat, and I just wanted to run it full, full length all the way front to rear. That is so cool. Yeah. Very cool. Again, we, we've never seen this in a truck before. A, a center console to run all the way back through a crew cab like that it looks so good dude heck yeah and garrett garrett did a great job yeah he, he killed it um the uh the big thing i wanted was to like keep storage for the inside of the uh the truck in here so you got your power switch inside here we go um we have the pci race radios in here so we'll see how those work I'm mean, crushing it dude uh, you, 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 that system. you're making all the right choices my friend <laughs> this is what i'm talking about dude let's hell see. yeah you want to throw the lights on in this thing yeah let's see dude this thing's great we got the lights on in here yeah, are these the baja, baja designs baja great. designs dome lights heck um, yeah everything runs down to the uh 
the Switch Pros, which um, Tanner did and programmed everything for me. Excellent. Uh, got the little visors to flip down. Yes, dude. Uh, Sparco wheel. I just wanted to do something a little different than I, I know a lot of guys do the uh, MPI and the yeah. PRP wheel. I, Sparco I really is like a, a wonderful company, it. man. Yeah. You know, they're they're legendary with what they do. And That's obviously great. with my height, I, I got more legroom in the truck, more set up for my, my size, and I like the flat bottom wheel just to get a little bit more legroom out of the vehicle. Too. Heck yeah. The D, they call it like the D ring, right? Like a D shape, yeah. right? Something like that, like a D shape uh, ring. That's cool, man. Uh, and then of course, my favorite. I can't look at this beautiful stock dash. Oh man, dude, I I don't know what it is. I think it's just it's so so pre runner. Yeah. I don't know how to explain it, but it's such a great a great thing to keep to retain this in the truck. And then look at this. Look at all the other details we have along here, guys. We have like what is this? Like a kind of like a carbon fiber like yeah, taper here. Just to kind of like protect a little bit for. Climbing in and out of the truck. I just Absolutely. Saw that on uh, Mason, uh, Mason's truck. Okay. DMC. I saw that on his truck. I was like, dude, I like that a lot. I want to do Great. that. Great. So just for getting in and out, I think that looks good and keeps it clean too. Hell yeah, man. Um, so much space in here. It looks amazing, man. It looks amazing. They crush it, dude. And then obviously the dyno mat up here. Yeah, sound deadening. Little sound deadening on the floor. Heck yeah. I, I mean, I bought a carpet kit. I have to put that in. I have it at the house, and it's yeah. specifically cut out for this truck. Okay. So I got to get everything out, and then I'll put that in later on. Yeah. Um, just enjoy the, it, man. Yeah, Go have some I fun. Just take it out. I can yeah. take it out. It's been down for over a year. Nice. With the headset now, it's the top, front, rear. Heck yeah, dude. Well, excellent, dude. And then you know, I love again the stock door cards right here. I mean, the, the stock, the stock uh, interior right here. It just looks amazing. No cup holders in the center console, but you have two in every door. So there we go. Yeah. Well, why do you need that? You're good. You, you know, you got your you got your big gulp right here, and you got your Coke right here. You know. <laughs> Heck yeah. Very cool. I'm really happy to see this thing like looks so amazing. This thing looks beautiful. It's such a rad looking truck. I hope Dirt King did what what they were supposed to do, man. And I mean, it looks like they did. Yeah. Well, I think it's definitely like a uh, very family friendly shop. They were very communicative with me the whole time, and. I would come forward with ideas and they were totally good with proceeding with that on something like this. So it, it really was great to see like a, a vision come along. Yeah, yeah, dude. I mean, it looks like they, they absolutely executed it. So def definitely hats off to Dirt King, man. You guys crushed it on this build. It looks like it looks like our boy Mike is pretty stoked. He's going to go rip it. So where are you going tomorrow, man? Uh, we're going to Plaster City, so we're going to go test it, run it, see how it does, and maybe show you guys a little Some footage? Yeah. All right. Alright guys, so thank you for checking out this episode. Mike, you guys crushed it great. Thank you very much. Man, these guys know what the hell they're doing. Can't wait, as you guys seen. I'm just foreshadowing this. The truck works, it's beautiful. It's gonna be awesome. We're gonna be shock tuning tomorrow. Um, and can't wait to see what else you guys put out, man. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Alright guys, thank you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe, do all that good crap. I hate saying it, but it truly helps us grow and create good content.